the idea of walking away from family goes against everything you've been conditioned to believe. Keyword, conditioned. So it deserves a different approach. There's another way you can look at leaving your family. And I'm going to call it becoming like Abraham. This is the biggest tip that I could give you as far as walking away from toxic family is to shift the way you look at it from walking away because they're toxic and you hate them to walking away because you want something different out of life. Before I get to that, I want to let you know that my name is Kevin. This is the Royal We. Brand new set. No, this isn't a set. This is just temporary. I am here for your support down in the description box. You'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments, telephone calls, FaceTime, WhatsApp video calls. It's all available for you. In addition to that, I do want to let you know that coming up here in just a, wow, just a few short weeks here, March the 12th, I will be in person in St. Louis. So St. Louis, I'm coming to you, right? <laughs> That's kind of misleading because I'm already in St. Louis. But limited seats are available, 25 Seats are available for this in-person event, March the 12th. You can find information at the website, www.jointheroyalweed.com. Links will be down below. Hope to see some of you there. Uh, lunch will be provided, all that good stuff. Now for this message, be like Abraham. Wow, what do you mean, Kevin? Well, if we can look at the story of Abraham, which is an ancient biblical principle, we can get a better, better understanding of walking away from family, one that does not mean we have to demonize the people, no matter how narcissistic or toxic they were, right? I mean, look, there's two ways you can look at toxic family members. You can look at it like, they suck, I hate them, and I want to leave. And, and that might work, and it might be good enough for you to walk away from them. However, with that's going to come a lot of guilt and a lot of shame automatically because it causes you to focus energy into this negative outlook on these people, which they deserve that negative outlook. I'm not going to try to take that away from you. Perhaps they really deserve that. Perhaps they're the most disgusting people and you regret having been born unto them, right? And, and so I understand all that, and I'm not going to try to take that away from you. But still, there's going to be that small amount of guilt. Why? Because society and, and culture and everything kind of conditioned you to believe that, well, that's not very honoring of your parents to walk away with so much hatred and animosity, right? And so we're going to look at another way that you can view walking away from your family, and it has nothing to do with how bad and how evil and narcissistic that family is. Instead, it has everything to do with you. It has everything to do with how you want to live your life. It has everything to do with the different person that you would like to be. And this is why I want to bring into this conversation the story of Abraham. All right. How many of you are familiar with the story of Abraham? Father Abraham had many sons, many sons, had Father Abraham, I am one of them, right? On and on and on, you know, Bible, Bible, vacation Bible school stories and all that jazz, right? So Abraham was called, according to the, the ancient literature by God, to become the father of many nations. What most people don't realize is that Abraham was given a choice. <gasps> he was? Hmm, it's not written in there. Well, it's not necessarily written in there, but it's an unspoken understanding. He was, in fact, given a choice. And the choice was this. Abraham, I can use you. I can make you the father of many nations. But you must leave your family. You must leave all your siblings. You must walk away from everything that you have here in order to become what I want you to become. Abraham could have chosen to say, no, thanks, God. I appreciate the offer, but I think I'm going to stay and plow the cornfields with dad and mom, with my, with my brothers and sisters. I, that's my fate, right? And, and I want you to understand what I'm saying here, okay? Here's the point. Abraham said, huh, interesting. It doesn't say Abraham's family was toxic, by the way. That's, that's not 
what this is about. It's about Abraham again. So Abraham thought about this, and he said, hmm, I don't know what God is calling me to do. Something about being a father of many nations, and, and my children will be as numerous as the, the sand and the, the desert and the stars and the sky and whatever nonsense. Sounds weird, sounds crazy. It sounds impossible. I have no idea what that looks like, but that, that's interesting. And here's the other choice. I know what it's like living with my family. I know what it's like staying here in the small town of Ur, is the name of the town he was in, plowing the cornfields. So I could spend the rest of my life doing that, or I could do that. I could take that risk and leave. It, this is where I'm going with this. The healthier way to look at leaving your family is this. You can walk away from your family looking back, not in a hateful way, but in saying, you want different. Understanding that if you stay with your family, no matter how toxic they are or not, you'll never get any more out of life than what they had. I'm going to say this again. If you stay with your family, you'll never have any more out of life than what they have. You will be destined to repeat their lifestyle. Whereas if you walk away, if you become like Abraham and you walk away from family, then your destiny will be different. It's risky. You may not know what it's going to look like, but it's going to be different. You will have a different calling. You'll have a different purpose. It may confuse you because it may be a long road of getting nothing for a long time. By the way, how many of you think that in the story of Abraham, he walked away from his family and the next day he was the father of many nations? No, it didn't happen like that. That boy journeyed for more years than you would like to think about. He lived in poverty, slept in tents. It's not good. I, I wouldn't say Abraham's journey was fun by any means, right? So, but nonetheless, he, was, he wanted to be nothing like his family. This is the biggest tip that I could give you as far as walking away from toxic family is to shift the way you look at it from walking away because they're toxic and you hate them to walking away because you want something different out of life. All right. Listen, I am here for your healing journey. Down below in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar for one-on-one -on -one appointments, telephone calls, FaceTime, video calls. It's all available for you. So head on down there and check my calendar. March 12th, right? March 12th, 11 o'clock a.m., St. Louis. I am coming to you in person, so come and spend time with me. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal Week.